Hello everyone, welcome back to another video, and welcome to a video where I build a water cooling loop in the AMD gaming PC. So first off, I would like to apologize, I am still getting over my cold, um, getting better. Uh, probably by tomorrow night I'll be all normal again, so that'll be great. So I just want to apologize if my uh, voice sounds weird, or I cough horribly, or I sneeze or whatnot, uh, the usual cold stuff. So. Yeah, anyway, uh, 30 seconds into the video, so I'm actually going to start talking about this. So basically, what I'm going to be doing, as you can tell by the title and as you can tell by what I just said, I'm going to be building a water cooling loop inside my gaming computer. So, I was at a LAN party of almost a month ago, and in fact, that's kind of why I'm water cooling the system right now. Uh, while I'm sick, while, no, that's why I'm recording while I'm sick, because I have another LAN party I'm going to in an ex in exactly a week. It is April 15th and it's on the 22nd, so it's in a week, so it's Friday today, so it's next Friday, blah blah blah. And I told everybody I will not go to the next LAN party until I have a water-cooled system. So that's pretty cool and nobody believed that I would build a super cheap cooling system for this. So that's what I'm gonna go into now. So uh, yeah, basically what this is, is I'm going to be using these cheap water blocks I got off eBay from China, uh, this cheap reservoir pump combo that I got from China off eBay and a bunch of other cheap stuff. And I'm going to be water cooling this, as I've said for like the fourth time, fifth time now. So yeah, so I'm going to stop recording right now and I'm going to set up a new kind of angle on my desk and show you the, the, the parts I'm going to be using for this. So yeah. So to start off, I am going to be showing you the CPU water block. So let me grab that off my bed. So this is the block right here. So basically what this is, is it's a universal block. So it has the AMD mounting. That's what I'm going to be using. And it also has the uh, Intel mount. So it has uh, two fittings, obviously. These are both uh, 3 8 inch OD barb fittings. And I, on all the fittings, I put pipe tape, pipe tape, in the uh, G quarter thread screw thing. And that's just going to prevent any leaks because these are super cheap. This was like 13 bucks roughly, rounding up. Let me focus on that. Rip headphone users, but yeah, so this is the water block I'll be using. You can see there is a bit of water in there from earlier testing that I did, but yeah, uh, also, actually, I'll show you the screws for that. That's not really important. This is the GPU block I'll be using, so pretty much the same concept. Um, you can see me waving there, but. Yeah, so it has water in it too, pipe tape on there. You can see it a bit better there. But yeah, so it, it just, water goes in one end, gets pushed through the micro channels and out the other end. And yeah, so pretty cool. So next thing I'll be showing you is the reservoir in the pump. So this is a pump res combo. And uh, yeah, so it has a three pin connector. That's gonna be a problem for filling the loop. More on that later. Uh, but you can see it's uh, from China. I don't know what that says. Um, but yeah, so I got this off eBay. This was I think 40 bucks for this. So it's just a nice little reservoir. I have pipe tape on it so it doesn't leak. I have pipe tape on the fittings, which you can see aren't screwed in all the way because I can't screw those in. Um, yeah, so that's that. Reservoir, or no, I just show you the reservoir. Radiator. Uh, this is this is an Alpha Cool radiator. It's a Alpha Cool something. I don't know where I, the box went for that, but it's like an Alpha Cool Nexo something or whatnot. So two by one one twenty mil fans. So it's a two forty radiator. Uh, fittings, pipe tape, everything like usual. So what else? Also for the 
the radiator. I don't have a way to mount it to the case, so I made this. This is just a nice wooden thing for it. And uh, yeah, so it just sits in there and these things I made here just kind of press fit it to the thing and whatnot. And I say whatnot a lot in this video, I'm guessing. So the fans I'm gonna be using, it's a little fan array that I just threw together earlier. And what this does is it has, um, I wanna do push pull on this. So I'm gonna be using these two Raid Max fans. I got these from a Raid Max case that was also part of the donation. And those are spliced to these two Sunon 92 mil fans. And these will be taped to the radiator. And this basically just adapts the 92 mil fans to the uh, 2x120 thing. So you can see my, my awesome wiring job and scotch tape instead of electrical tape. And that just has a janky Molex connector that plugs directly into the 12 volt. So yeah, awesome wiring, very safe. So nine, or the 120s are low RPM fans, they're really quiet, but it is kind of ruined by the fact that these 92 mils run at full speed as well. So they will be screaming. So, I mean, they're not server fans, but they are uh, generic case fans. So what else? Anything else? I don't think there's anything else I want to show you. Um, yeah. So, next clip, I am going to start disassembling the gaming PC and uh, installing the components for the loop. So, of course, here's the system itself. So, basically, the only thing I'm going to be doing in the loop or in the system itself is or the only thing I'm going to be cooling in the system itself with the water is the graphics card and the uh, processor. So. That's all I'm going to be removing. So initially, I'm just going to duck under the camera and remove the graphics card for now. Hopefully these screws don't fall in the power supply. That seems to happen every time. And I mean every single time I remove them. In fact, what I usually do is take a microfiber cloth, put it over a power supply vent, or the power supply fan, or you get what I'm saying. So just in case, I'll just store those screws down there on my bed. Trying to pull the card out. And ink off the connectors. So yeah. Radeon HD 5830. So yeah. Next, uh, the screwdriver. I am going to remove the back panel. So, pardon me if I'm cutting across the shot, or in, in the video, or whatever, you get what I'm saying. So, I am way too lazy to remove the motherboard. So what I'm going to do is just install the water block right on the CPU with the board still in the case. So I'm going to take four of my screws. I just dropped one off. Fetch that later. Actually, you know what? I'll grab it now because I'll start filming later and forget about it. And it just falls again. What do you know? It's going to stay down there till later. So what am I doing now? CPU. So I'll grab the CPU block, set that there. The screws, you guys probably can't see those. Uh, barely. And... Thermal combat, I need some of that. So... Arctic Silver... Arctic Silver 5. Right there. Rubbing alcohol and Arctic Clean hardware. And I've got my microfiber cloth. Kinda hurt. So, yeah, and tissues, lint-free. So I'm gonna kind of move, or zoom in all the way, pan up, 
switch to manual focus and focus on processor area. So basically, I am going to remove CPU cooler first. Just pull it out like that. So yeah, you'll notice immediately I'm missing a screw up there. Just don't ask how that happened. It's a long story. You know what I'll, I'll tell you? It, it's entertaining. So I this system are this system had a water cooling loop in it. And I disassembled the loop earlier today because my camera, you know, the camera we all know and love, the one that's so high-end and perfect. Pardon me, it's 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 perfect. Um yeah, it decided it would stop recording randomly. And I think I have it sorted now. Let me just look at it. Sorry. Make sure I didn't jinx it. And yeah, it stopped recording as I was building the loop. And yeah, I got pissed at it and I was just like, you know what, screw it. I want to have a water cooled system and I water cooled it off camera. But then I decided, you know what, I want to film it because it's been a dream of mine to have a water cooled gaming PC for five years now. And so, yeah, I was just like, screw it. And I tore apart the loop, scrapped all the tubing that I had paid three bucks for. So in theory, I only paid like a, maybe a buck because I used like a third of the tubing. And yeah, there we go. Is it still recording? It is still recording, believe it or not. So um, I'm not gonna use the Arctic Clean one because I already removed all the stuff. So I'm going to just Yay, no bent pins that time. So, but I have thermal compound on my hand, so I am going to just put some of this thermal surface purifier on it. Hold on, I will pan down. Bear with me here. So, yep. It's the farthest I can zoom in. And I will wait. The given amount of time, where is my microfiber cloth? Where did I put, oh, it's still on the power supply. Okay. And I will wait and drop my microfiber cloth on the floor and pick it up and so on and so forth. Slightly going insane. I've been in my house for the past week and I'm going insane like I just said. But luckily, tomorrow, and the next day are both in the high or mid, no, low 70s. So, winter is finally over. So, that's, that's a plus. So, yeah. Uh, no, I should not throw that. I need that later. So, actually, I will pan up again. On the CPU area, and... A weird car that oh god shoot my my neighbors have a little kid and his friends just arrived at his house so that's good they're gonna be outside screaming so yeah I have a bunch of work I need to catch up on for school I don't have time to wait so I'm just gonna water cool this regardless of the screaming and crying and obnoxious noises. Believe me, I love little kids. Little kids are awesome. But when they get annoying, they really freaking get annoying. And when the annoying ones, where am I going with this? Uh, yeah, these kids cry for no reason and scream for no reason and freak out when their parents drive the car out of the, or into the garage from sitting in the driveway because uh, they want to go with them and blah blah blah. Where did my, where did the back, oh here it is, back plate fell off, so yeah, CPU uh, cooler back plate. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is take these screws here and you can see they used to have a spring on them, I find that unnecessary because it just hassles me. 
And I will, I am smart, I will figure out how tight to wrench them. So, yeah. So I'm gonna unscrew this little nut here, or bolt. Is it a nut or a bolt? I think this is a nut. Or is it? No, the screw is, the screw would, wait. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. Just forget it, I'm making a fool out of myself. But, yeah, so it has these little things here, presumably to prevent short circuits. So, yep. That was completely unnecessary. So, yeah. That screws down like that. And, uh, yeah, so, I will see you. Hopefully I edit this out. If I don't, then just sorry about that. But I'll see you when all these screws are screwed in. So, yeah, all the screws are in. Uh, so, unfortunately, up here, it seems to be fine to some extent, but down here, the holes for everything seem to be a bit bigger regarding the CPU mount, CPU cooler mount. And I, I just forgot the thermal compound. Wow. What a absolute failure that would have been. Okay. Yeah, so let's put a nice little cross on here. It's an AMD chip. This is what I did last time, and it was perfectly spread. So just put more. I closed the window too because kids were being. Yeah, anyway. So, um, yeah. Seems very nice. Very, very, very nice. And, yeah. So, put the CPU block on and kind of press it down. So now, what happens next is... What the hell? Wait a sec. Wait a sec. What the heck am I doing here? What is... Oh! Oh, the screws are different! Wait a sec. I am being completely stupid. Wow. Okay. Well, that explains that issue. I put the wrong screws on for the bottom thing because there are CPU and GPU screws. I thought they were the same type of screws, so I mixed them. Okay. All right, well, now that that whole mess is over, I guess. Um, yeah, so back to installing the water block. So you can see I didn't really bother to replace the thermal compound. I don't really know if it's necessary to do, but oh well. It's a ghetto system, it's a ghetto loop, it's a ghetto job of doing things. So yeah, what are you gonna do? Anyway, I'm going to begin screwing on the water block. And so it will just be held down with a bit of tension on blah, blah, blah. What am I rambling about? I have no idea. Anyway, so this is going to be like the most boring water cooling video is it ever, isn't it? Half my head is in the frame, I'm sure. Actually, maybe not because I'm zoomed in all the way. that on. So I'm not going to wrench it tight, I'm just going to go finger tight to some extent as I hit the RAM module with my knuckle and cause it to make a cracking sound. Jeez, it's not too good, I can imagine, but yeah, so I can't wait to get this filled up, finally, nice water cooled system. So, yeah. So 
CPU block is uh, installed. So next is the GPU block then. So here's the Radeon HD 5830. <coughs> Just realize my voice sounds terrible right now. But yeah, so uh, graphics card, obviously. I think we're all smart enough to know that, but yeah, so I'm just gonna immediately start removing the screws on this card. So, yeah, very nice. So, I'm very happy I went with this card because those screws don't have to remove those because it doesn't have any uh, RAM heat sinks on it. So, just uses downdraft from the fan or something like that. So yeah, hopefully the air being moved around by the various fans in the system will be enough to cool that. Hopefully. So of course just remove the thing. Just remove the fan here and set that aside. Let me see what the frame is looking like. So, also, by the way, I'm making a slideshow just because it I, this is kind of nostalgic for me. And, uh, yeah, so you'll see this picture in a future video. So, yeah, there's, there's the card itself. And I'm going to go ahead and remove the thermal compound on that because it's old, gunky, disgusting. It's a week old. It's been on the thing for a week. It can't be that bad, but oh well. You know what? A mistake in ordering caused me to get more thermal compound than I know what to do with. Probably have a good two years worth based on how much I have to do stuff like this. So yeah, I'm, I'm set for the next couple of years. Well, not next couple of years, I'll probably need some around New Year's 2017, I'm guessing. But yeah, so there we go, all better. Uh, coolers, I'm not really gonna worry about right now. And there's that. Something I forgot to do on the CPU block was Add some of this stuff. This is the thermal surface purifier, and I might as well put some on the chip too. Wouldn't really hurt, I don't think. So, yeah. So we'll just wait 30 seconds or so for that. I'll put a little bit more over here. And, yeah. So. I guess I could reassemble this thing. I'll do that later. We'll just remove all that stuff so you can see it looks to be a bit cleaner. And I'll also kind of dab this off in an effort not to uh, smear thermal compound on this. This may blind you. I'm not sure how this is going to reflect, but yeah, I am going to just clear a bit of that off that that's good enough. So yeah. Now thermal compound. I don't think you're supposed to use Arctic Silver 5 on this because it's conductive, but that's a lot. That's probably way too much. Really no turning back now, but um yeah, block. CPU or GPU block. Pardon my arm and possibly my head. By the way, just had to jump across the shot there and grab the uh, thumb screws and bolts and nuts and washers and and uh, whatever. So let me. 
pull the card. Um, how am I going to do this? I can't see. And I probably moved the tripod. So, yeah, you know what? Here, screw. Screw. Or whatever this is. Nut, washer, bolt, thing. This is a nut, I think. Anyway, um, probably would have been a good idea to not put the thermal compound on first. But, as I did previously, I will continue the video when all the screws are in place. So, all the screws are on properly this time. So, I'm just going to uh, lower the block into place and put on the thumb screws. And I obviously have the block oriented so that the water will come out this way. You guys can't see, but come out the top there. Or the, the tubing will be routed around the top there. So it will go towards the side panel window, obviously. So, tightening in a cross pattern. I should be careful about this because it's a bare chip, not doesn't have a heat spreader on it. Because why should it? And I'll just make sure these are even. There, all, all better. Good. So I'll zoom out and pan up to the system, kind of zoom in on the graphics area and there we go, focused. And I am going to just route this CPU power cable through there and slot in the card. Actually, you know what? No, no, no. I forgot to take the picture of it with the block on. I know, this is stupid, but I like, I'm, I'm a very nostalgic person, so it was a good time in my life when I figured out how to water cool stuff. So just ignore, ignore the movement of the computer. Probably, it's probably running away from me because it thinks I'm weird, but Yep, just slot in card. Make sure it is in focus and everything. Very good. I have a cool angle there. And I'll grab the GPU screws and screw everything in. going in, right? Yeah. Alright. Sorry about my head, if you can see it. I'm gonna get thermal compound in my hair one of these days, and... Yeah. Anyway. Good. So, can remove that. Actually, no, we can't. Probably not the best idea, at least. So, let me move that over and zoom out. Sorry about the mess you can see. There, I should move this thermal compound ridden piece of tissue paper, but yeah, so anyway, now all we have to do is install the radiator and a few other things. 
So, um, yeah, I, the way I have my custom wooden mallet set up is I need to remove this plastic fan. Yeah, that's, that's in focus, but what's interesting about this fan and the fan in the front of the case is they are extremely quiet for some reason. They are the cheapest fans I've ever seen. Well, are they? No, I don't think so, actually, but they're pretty cheap fans. And they run at 12 volts all the time, and they're freaking quiet as heck. Like, you cannot hear these fans. They're probably my quiet fan of choice. So, yeah. Um, I'm just gonna pile all these screws and random things over here. Just bear with me. This is the coolant we'll be using. It's crystal white. Not sure if I have sugar or not. Good for supporting life forms. Just kidding, that's a dumb idea. Don't use crystal light for your coolant. <coughs> Just a drink. So, yeah. The reason I cleared everything off is because I have to set up the radiator. So in fact, I think I will carry the computer off the desk quickly. And and down and install the radiator. So, like I said, um, actually the fans have to go in first. Where's my scotch tape? Where's my scotch tape? Yes, I am taping the fans to the radiator because I A, don't have fan screws, B, I'm too lazy to find fan screws, and C, don't know what type of screws to get. So, yeah. Those are the three reasons for pretty much every cost-cutting maneuver I do when building a system, or when doing anything for that matter. So, yeah. I'm gonna tape it there. Can you guys even see what I'm doing? Believe it or not, you can pretty much see. I'll zoom in a bit. You can see my logo that I just drew on there. There's actually quite a bit of math involved in making this. It's simple math, but it's quite a bit of it. One would be surprised to get these like even and looking nice and everything, you know? Anyway, I'll turn that over and install these fans. So, you can see my amazing job of wiring these right here, or maybe you can't, I don't, I have no idea if that was in the frame or not, but, yep. so, are these fans lined up? Good enough. If I seem depressed or anything, I it's just I'm sick and whatnot and I'm tired and I'm at this point just talking to myself basically. I mean there's things I'll say to the camera like right now, but I'm kind of rambling for no good reason and just talking to myself. I, I do that when I'm sick and well no actually I don't. But Anyway, anyway, so, because this is a good idea, I am going to just put tape across there. And to keep the tape from getting sucked in, actually, wait a sec, hold on, um, shoot, where did I put my packing tape? There's a knife, that'll come in handy in just a sec. Notice how I expertly, or how I 
whatever. Notice how I threw it across the thing. Here's my packing tape, and I don't have scissors, and I'm basically talking to no one because I'm, I would be surprised if someone stuck through the video this long. But, I don't have scissors with me, do I? Yeah, I do. I do have scissors, but they're not visible right now. Shoot. You know what? Stuff it. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I just dropped a knife on my foot. My life. This is safe, too. Good thing it's not in focus. There. This, that, no, that's too much tape. Like, like that. Okay. Good. Always cut towards yourself, kids. Yeah, there we go. No box cutters, so just I'm gonna press that down so it sticks to the fans and just, just. Oh shoot, the radiator is probably gonna leak everywhere now, but oh well, I only spent like 20 bucks on it. 40 actually, if you, if you are honest, but One hundred percent safe. This is what happens when I'm sick and I'm tired and I want to water cool my computer on video. And I'm sure my camera's not recording, is it? It is. Wow. Up to eleven minutes. How much time do I have remaining? I don't know. I should stop the recording and import footage. Um I really wish I had scissors with me. Or a box cutter. A box cutter would be nice at this stage. But the question is, can I find one without tipping the camera over? Because I'm sure you guys and I have a very bad day. Box cutter, yay. Nice little Dewalt one. Okay. Yeah, so the camera stopped recording, what do you know? Doesn't surprise me. But. Uh, whatever you missed, that's too bad. I, I took a drink of my fruit punch, that's basically it. So, yeah. On that note, time to install the radiator. Yay! So basically, I unscrew this thing. And foam pads on that. So, that goes... The, the radiator basically just kind of fits into place and uh, have to kind of press it in to get it to stick and then from there I just Put that little piece back on, screw it down, and it basically press fits the radiator into place. So, radiator fan assembly installed as... Okay, um, yeah, uh, I should... Do that, but anyway, um, you can see a very long cord for the for the fan or fans or yeah. So radiator is installed. Let me lift the system up with my back because it's only like 10 pounds, literally. No computer could be this light, but heck, it's cheap. So yeah. Anyway, now I will remove all these screws, all six of them. 
Yeah, so... Okay, I'm going to route the fan cable first to the PCI slot area. And there we go. So basically what this is designed to do is it will screw into certain holes in the case and kind of hold the thing up. So once again, as usual, please ignore my head. I am going to pop in these screws and get everything set up. So let's see. I'm gonna screw this in. Is that aligned? Yeah, that, that's good enough, I guess. But you guys can probably see nothing but my head and my arms and a screwdriver and nothing of what I'm actually showing to you. So, um, when all three supports are screwed in fully, it fit or it uh, holds it relatively well. I mean, it's not the most stable thing on earth, but it's it, it's what I have. And, yeah, so it's good enough. So you can see also that there's a mount in the PCI slot area. So let me see, how does that mount like that, I think? Uh, even I don't know how this works. I built the thing. But, yeah, so... This might actually be blocked by the GPU. Well, I think it is, but that screws into the PCI slot thing. And just a nice little support there. And last but not least. Now, thank God I have a microfiber cloth over this. I can just screw this one last screw into place. And the radiator is mounted. So, let's just screw in the last screw. And we are sorted. Actually, it's not screwed in yet, so we're not. Sorry if my head's blocking the shot. I think I've said that about 600 times. But yeah, fan cable just routes around into the case, into the... God, why did I make this cable so long? It's completely unnecessary. And I'll just stuff that into, hard, into the hard drive bay for now. So... Yeah, good. Very nice. Very, very nice. So, up top, one last thing is our compress combo. So, this thing comes with little rubber mounts that I didn't show earlier because I forgot. And the screws don't work with my case because the holes in the fan grill are too large for the, for the, let's see, the bolts to go through and then the nuts don't screw on properly because they don't have not anything to, yeah, you get what I'm saying. But, on that note, I'm basically going to mount the thing like this. So, basically, basically I say basically a lot, but if I poke a screw up here and screw it into place, you can see 
and it just screws into the rubber just fine and it holds it relatively well and the fan doesn't interfere with the screw either so all is good all is well so now I just have to uh, do that four times so if I don't cut this out sorry about that so yeah all is well um, yeah, so I'm going to end here, import footage, and then continue with a blank SD card. Yeah, tubing time. Um, tubing. Home Depot. Yeah. Just be careful. Don't give apps your contacts. Uh, anyway. So... Basically what I'm going to be doing here is from the pump output through this hole to the top of the CPU, bottom of the CPU straight to the graphics card down here, from this part on the graphics card through this hole to the radiator right here, you guys can't see that, and from the output of the radiator up to the inlet of the thing. So yeah, tubing goes through this hole, um, and it goes up here. So. And then I press it down really freaking hard onto that fitting. So, yeah, that works. Um, oh god, I need scissors. Where are the scissors? Blah. No, screw it. There's my box cutter. Maybe that will work. Who knows? I'm tired. I'm sick. Anyway, just route that right up there without kinking the tubing because that would suck just give it some nice generous room on that so I'll just go up to right here and cut right next to my finger with a dull sharp even though those are the opposite of each other you get what I'm saying it's just like the most stupid thing to cut with when your fingers are right there and that doesn't even cut through the tubing, so I do need my scissors, because those literally went missing. As you can hear me tearing apart my room, looking for scissors that just are not there. They just physically are not there. Where the heck did they go? Um... And my neighbors are outside. So either they think I'm recording them or or not or I'm gonna turn off the camera to protect myself and you from the ranting. Sitting in my tissue box. Okay. Fair enough. Just cut the tubing. Nice almost clean cut and I will Press that onto my block as the kids start screaming. Good, good, very nice. I'm recording a video. Anyway, um, that tube goes down to like right there. So I will cut with scissors. Cut. That was my bone tapping. Um, anyway, not really. These fittings are always a chore to get on because they're a bit off. That did not work. That did not work at all. They are a chore to get the tubing on because they are off. Yes. Just press that down on the fitting really hard. I'm going insane. I, I really am. Wonder if I should even upload this. Make myself look like a total nutcase. But yeah, okay, that's good enough. As my stuff finishes transferring to my server. Um yeah. This tube goes through here. That goes on to the fitting for the radiator. And I'm using obscene amounts of force to 
jam that onto the fitting. Oh my god, notifications everywhere. Literally. Um, where did that notification come from? Do I even want to know? No, I don't. I'm too lazy. Probably my iPad, probably YouTube. And as the tube passes the last of the four Barbie things on the barb right there, I will cut the tubing like right there. Nice, horrible cut that was. So let me press tubing on here. Come on. Jeez, no, it's probably that stalker from school, but um, yeah. Anyway, so. video here. It's just not in my favor today, is it? Jeez. Um, no, too lazy to remove that. I almost just want to remove the graphics card entirely and press these fittings on. I'm about to do that because I'm about to break my wrist. Alright, yay. Last tubing run. Finally, okay, let me push that onto that fitting and damage my elbow because I'm pressing so freaking hard. Ow, ow, and I lost my scissors, here they are, okay, okay, good enough, good enough. So I'll just generously cut that. and. Dump that on the floor for some later project and press it onto a fitting. There, good enough. So it's always good enough here. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so downstairs, we're gonna fill this thing. So I'm down in my um, kind of kitchen area, I guess. So. I need a way to power the pump without turning on the motherboard. But I don't have a male three pin. So I'm just gonna do that. Throw that aside for later. Um, I'm kinda strip these wires. Just the red and the black ones. And from there, I will twist them. Twist. Twist. And is there any tape down here? No, why would there? Why would there be tape? Um, and I'll take this small X connector. I ripped off another fan. And I will tie it on. You can probably not hear those kids yelling in the background, but they are, believe me. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to run that pump for X amount of time with those wires just like that. So, what can I do here? You guys can't even see what I'm talking about, can you? Wow, okay. Well, there we go. Good enough. So. This plugs into that, or, or is it, does that work? There, just plugs in like, like that, like that, so I can speak today. Um, but yeah, so, can't run, run our pump dry. I'm going to zoom out. Pardon the mess. Please do. And actually, you know, I should bring this around. You, you basically just saw my whole house and... My battery's about to die, good, good, good. I'm gonna fill the loop first, just stuff it. You know what, I'll fill the loop, charge the battery as it's bleeding and everything. And... Is that running? No, it's not, I thought it was running. Okay, so, I'm going to do this, and 
Can you guys see what I'm doing here? Can you? Yes, you can. Okay, so I'm gonna take my Dixie cup and pinch it and take up some distilled water that I just happen to have as my cup drips and I will just kind of pour in the water and it starts to go through my loop. So I will just start pouring in and I'll Fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh my god, it just dripped in the computer. <sighs> well, you know what? Screw it. The computer's not on. I'll dry it off and proceed with everything. This is what, this was... Why did I do that? That was completely freaking stupid. Well, so and then again, so am I, but... Oh well. UXW Bill put a computer in the dishwasher. I think this is fine. Take this random paper towel I found and screw on the reservoir cap. Oh shoot, no, shoot, shoot, shoot. That's leaking. No, it's not. Never mind. I thought it was leaking. It's just dripping from earlier. But I digress. Whatever that means. There's water all over my GPU. It'll have plenty of time to dry, don't worry. System's not powered up anyway. So, is it leaking? It does not look like it's leaking. Or is it? It's leaking. No, it's not. Is my camera even recording still? Wow, it is. It's just claim. It doesn't have battery, but yeah, so curiously perched. So turn on the pump and put it flat. And I'll just turn it off now. So I'll grab a bit of paper towel, wipe up under the pump and everything. And I will grab another Dixie cup, one that's not covered in water, and I will, instead of dipping in my bucket of distilled water, I'll pour out some distilled water into it. So it should go better than last time, hopefully. Hopefully. Should put cap on t or Teflon tape on the, uh, on the fill port here. So, just put more water in. And dump my water out. Usually takes about three cycles to fill this loop here. And you can probably see water dripping out of, or dripping off the cup. What are you gonna do? It's... See, when I build my Hackintosh eventually, which I do plan on doing in the next five years, maybe, um... I'll be water cooling it with the custom herb. That system will freaking be cooled properly, not with some like cheap ass thing like this. There we go. I'm just gonna go and dry, isn't it? I'm just gonna turn it off to be safe. It's not running dry yet, but. Once things start to bleed, then it will probably run dry. So I'm going to just top it off. It's running some nice cold water in here because it came out of a water cooler with distilled water. So. Yeah, good, great. So, yeah, I'll just screw that on nice and tight for now. You can see the condensation on the reservoir there. Everything. <coughs> but, I 
it's running. No leaks so far. So I will continue the video once the bleeding and everything is done. So I am recording on my iPhone. Uh, it's, it's pretty late. I fell asleep while this was running and it's about maybe I'm going to say 12.30 a.m. So yeah, okay. But you can see it's all uh, set up. Side panels are on. Uh, I plugged in the pump. You can see the tape back there. I do want to replace that with heat shrink tubing when I get some more. Uh, this is a little bit ghetto for my liking, having a pump like that. Uh, you can see I actually did try to heat shrink, or I did heat shrink it uh, the first time. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the power switch. It's not plugged into the monitor or anything. I just want to start it. But you can see it does turn on. So it's good. You can hear how loud the 92s are. But uh, those front fans there aren't too loud. Actually, I can't hear them when they're running. There is the 120s. Those things are loud. You can see that the, those fans are pretty low RPM to power supply fan in front of it. There's my G5 that I've been working on. This is the one that died that I tried to fix. So, yeah. I think that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if any of you made it this far. So, yeah, like I said, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video.